Well hello folks, today we're going to talk about the mysteries of frailing. Ooh, guess what, there is no mystery. You know, people say, oh that will take you years to master, uh, you'll never get there, I mean it will take you years and years and years. But as a good supreme mind would say, Captain Jack Sparrow, not true, if I can do it, anybody can. So let's look at what we're doing with frailing banjo. We all know that the different styles we can strum on the banjo. Old time, we can pick it. Now in all those techniques, you're using upstrokes and downstrokes. Now with frailing, the only difference is we're only using downstrokes with our hand. Now the first thing really to master is the thumb. Now what we're doing with the thumb, all we're doing, let me get closer to the camera, all we are doing with our thumb, now there's little hand movement, there's a little hand movement, most of it is done by the wrist. Now this is the hardest thing to master that I found when I first started frailing, or oh, about two years ago, and it's taken me a time, you know, it's taken me a long time to get there, but I'm still learning, you know, you'll be learning for the rest of your life. But it doesn't take the rest of your life to learn it. So here we go. So the thumb movement basically. So we're rolling. We're rolling our hand. First string. Try that. Try that with me. If you miss a string, guess what? Doesn't matter. So we're in 4-4 four, four time. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this is where the, the magic starts to happen. So as we come down, we strike, thumb comes off back onto the head. Now you can hit this hard, you can hit it soft. Now the ideal thing about a banjo is basically it's a drum, so why not use it as a rhythm? So again, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. And see what's happening, you're striking you pivot in your hand, your whole arm is acting as a pivot. Now what happens is, you end up with a big callus on your arm. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Some people like to play with a guard, an arm guard. I'd prefer to take it off because it gives you more contact with the head, more feel. So, so the basics of frailing banjo are strike, strum, thumb, st strike, strum, thumb. See what's happening there. So you're rolling, rolling your wrist, and as you roll your finger, it doesn't much matter which finger you use. I don't have a choice. I've only got one finger to use. So this is why, for some people, this is a better way of playing the banjo. Picking is okay if you've got all your fingers. Strumming, whatever you use, what you've got, you could just use your thumb. That's the basic, what we call the bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum. So one, two, and three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, and three, four. Now the thumb is always going back on the head. Again, that's the hardest thing to master. It doesn't come off a long way, it just rolls off the top string. Yeah, see? As you progress with frailing, so why not pick up the second string? Third string. Fourth string. If you miss a string, doesn't matter. 
Who notices? No one's going to know. So how do we achieve that? All we do is we close up the web between a thumb and finger. And that's as simple as that. Just close the webbing up. Now you, your finger doesn't have to be stiff, you can keep it relaxed if you want to play softer, so... Stiffen up your finger for loudness, volume. It's always the same basic roll, which is... You want to practice that for about oh about two weeks, and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at some other techniques. Now, basic Fraley strum. I mean, it goes well with most songs. You know, um, for instance, what I started out with the first song I ever played was "Boil Them Cabbage Down." There, which is a pretty simple song. The chord progression is C. Get it right. Seven. Or you could do a full D. Um, I have trouble doing a full D, but there you go. Um, so we, so it goes well with the song. So we'll, we'll give that a try. So let's see. Again, basic. Went up to a mountain to give my confident with frailing then you, you you start to get away from the basic bum diddy but it's always there it's always the uh, the grounding of, of your craft if you like you know and as you progress with this art or craft or whatever you want to call it you will get better uh, it's taken me all right as like I said two years just over two years to get where I am today I'm no expert uh, you'll be doing this, like you say, for the rest of your life, but every time you learn something, it's like, whoa, that's a bonus, you know? You've learned something today, and that makes it, well, it makes it fun, doesn't it, you know? And that's what it's all about, having fun with your instrument, you know? Uh, it sounds a bit dirty, doesn't it? No, but anyway, but that's what we say. But for a first-time beginner, you're picking up a banjo, and maybe you're trying to run before you walk, but you don't have to. So with that basic strum, forget about the chords. Bar chords, Seven, uh, fifth fret, bar, bar the fifth fret up one finger, C, open G, seventh fret, bar, it's actually hard going back to basics and um, trying to show this to someone else. But well, we all know where the C chord is. We've got first string, second fret, second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret, which gives us our full bar, our full chord C. Now, like I said, as you progress with this, it, it starts to the, the, the magic of frailing is it's very quick on the quick on the nose because your finger. It's always on the string. You see, the, the rhythm's still there, but you're breaking it down there into quarter and eighth notes. So how do we do that? We just bounce off a string. How, put a hammer on or something. Now, even one string can make a difference. So we're doing the... Basic frailing strum. Let's pick another string out, say uh, second string, first fret.
last string, second fret. Easy stuff, isn't it? Like I said, if I can learn it, anyone can. And it doesn't matter if you're shy a finger or two. I'm shy lots of fingers. <laughs> doesn't matter, guess what? Persevere with what you've got. You know, part of uh, being any kind of instrument player, banjo player, doesn't matter. You know, you use your your ability, whatever finger you've got. Use one finger. Pick out an individual note. Doesn't you don't have to do a chord. A lot of banjo melody, it can be one finger anyway. And you know, once you start adding in hammer-ons and pull-offs and slides, you just get better and better. You know, you uh, you learn your craft every day. So. So if we take um, a song like Cripple Creek, now the first time you ever play Cripple Creek it will be, uh, well, I'm trying to remember the words now. Well the gills of the Cripple Creek about half grown sea, jump on a boy like a dog on a bone, roll my bridges up to my knees, wait on Cripple Creek. So you're using basic chords, and it goes very well with the song. So I went up to the mountain to get my C called bar, or you've got your fifth fifth fret, which is also a C call. So you could go. Now that's just a bit of showmanship. But like you say, you don't have to do a lot of showmanship in banjo playing. If you're playing in a band situation, people don't want to hear all the fancy stuff, unless you're doing a solo or something like that, and they'll be, oh yeah, that's that's great, you know, he's a good banjo player, of course he's quick. You don't have to be quick to play a song. You don't have to, you don't have to put a load of melody notes in or fancy bits. You can just sit there and strum along. And that's, that's where that basic framing strum comes in again. So. It, Four, four, time again. Now, as we speed up, like we say, as you speed up with your frailing, and then you start in individual notes again. So, you know. But it will come, believe me. All you need is practice, and that's what you will need to practice every day is that basic frailing strum. Get that technique right down pat. Practice that for two or three weeks and then we'll come back and do some more stuff. I hope this has been a help to you. This is Sean, thoroughly enjoying the winter sunshine outside my door. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.